lovely TTs. Welcome back to the channel. NBA Youngboy gets on live and completely goes off on his baby mothers. Y'all already know what I'm about to say before we dive deeper into this topic. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Two days ago, an interview the NBA Youngboy did with Bootleg Kev went viral because NBA Youngboy claims to not be big on fatherhood despite being the father of 11 young kids. So Charlemagne gets on the Breakfast Club and he gives NBA Youngboy donkey of the day. Why? Because NBA Youngboy said that he's not big on fatherhood despite having all of these children now Charlemagne was saying a lot about nba young boy but i'm not gonna lie guys in totality he did have a lot of great points nba young boy's name alone is large it's huge and he has many fans and he shouldn't want to be putting out that bad example of being not so great of a father especially after having all of these kids why would you want to set that example now after Charlemagne gives nba young boy donkey of the day nba a young boy decides to respond by going live saying that his house stays full of children and he explains why certain children of his are not around and completely insults his baby mothers okay now let's go ahead and get into it firstly he says that nisha spent all of the money that he gave her and this rumor has been going around for the longest time if you know you know it's been said that nba young boy the reason why these women actually decide to or these girls because most of them are very young when they have a baby by nba young boy not you know under the age young i'm just talking about very very young he gives them money to have his children so that's why they decide to do it because not a lot of people understand why these women decide to be nba young boys baby mother especially with his rep and things that have been said but it's said that they get money out of this of course um he calls her ugly and calls her a dog then he calls jania and i quote oversized chest a b then he claims that Jania Michelle and Jerea should know what that's about. And I guess he's insinuating that they know why he's not caring for those particular children of theirs. Then he calls Money Yaya a stick body. And I know that had to be a slap in the face for Money Yaya. If you guys know, Money Yaya is always supporting NBA Youngboy. Whether she's with him or not, she's always listening to NBA Youngboy's music, supporting his new songs, dancing to his new songs, making up little TikTok talk dances for his songs so for her to be doing all that for her baby daddy nba young boy and always getting on live dancing to his music and him to be insulting her so bad i know it's just embarrassing like i said it is a slap in the face and lastly he said that he wanted to speak on his baby mother cola but he says that she's police cola decides to get on live and she goes off okay she completely goes off on nba young boy telling him to keep her name out of his mouth before she really turns into the police now how did our girl jania clap back jania she is living her best life okay a day after nba young boys live she celebrated her 20 fourth birthday happy belated birthday to jania michelle and her man her new man Dejounte murray surprised her with a bentley for her birthday jania is living it up and elevating in life let me tell you guys elevating is always going to be the best revenge in response so that's the way jania decided to respond she didn't even say a word she didn't get on live and say anything towards nba young boy but she showed that she's elevating her life and that's the best response now on a serious note, guys, I do not feel like it's cool that NBA Youngboy thinks it's cool to insult his children's mother on live like that. Like, firstly, Charlemagne gave him the donkey of the day. Why is he going off on his baby mothers, right? Like, they weren't the one that was talking about him. I mean, once upon a time, they were talking about how he was an absent father, but recently, they haven't been saying anything. This was a man. This was Charlemagne, and it just seemed like he couldn't handle it, so he decides to insult his baby mothers secondly he's not thinking of the fact that his children have to grow up one day and see this live and they have to see how he was disrespecting their mothers like do you really think that's okay for your children to see how do you feel like they would feel about that or maybe nba young boy no nba young boy he probably doesn't care but it's still not cool and thirdly these are women that he chose to have children with 
So it, the least thing that he could do is give them some type of respect because you chose these women. You chose to have children with them. I felt like that was completely disrespectful, especially because they tried not to say anything too horrible about him from what I see. And they tried their best not to disrespect him. On a few occasions, some of them have but most of them try their best not. But you guys let me know what you think about this in the comments section. Now let's go ahead and move on to Ruby Rose. Recently, Ruby Rose did an interview with Jake Paul on his channel, Impulsive. And they asked Ruby Rose, how did you even get into OnlyFans? We know that Ruby Rose is always promoting her OnlyFans if you follow her on Instagram. And she actually says her ex, who was her ex, DDG got her into doing only fans and she actually says his name ddg now once this started to circulate the blogs people were like mm, she could have just said her ex she didn't have to actually bring up ddg's name so upon her bringing up ddg's name then they go further with the questions and then they're like oh yeah he recently had a baby with his new girlfriend hallie how do you feel about that and I'm like, hold on, how is she supposed to feel about that? How can she feel about that? And she's like, congratulations to them. Of course, what else is she going to say? I really didn't even understand what kind of question is that. I understand they're trying to get clicks and views. They're YouTubers, bloggers. Of course, I understand it. But still, what kind of question is that? How was she supposed to feel? Now, a lot of people were saying in the comment section, they did not feel like it was necessary for Ruby Rose to bring up DDG's name. And I completely agree with that. I think it's starting to look bad on her image for her to continuously bring up DDG's name, her ex name. I mean, if you guys look at Ruby Rose's interviews, if you look up a Ruby Rose interview, there's multiple interviews where Ruby Rose is talking about her ex DDG. I feel like like he's the ex that she talks about the most okay now i understand that he relates to some story but she could just say her ex instead of bringing up his name this man has moved on he has a whole family now and it's like she's still mentioning his name it just i don't know to me it doesn't look good on her part now yes ruby rose she's her own person she's a grown woman and she can continue to do so if she wants to but obviously there's people in the comment section thinking that she still has feelings for him because she keeps on bringing up his name she could have just said ddg okay because of course there's going to be more questions if she brings up his name and ddg is not bringing up her name in interviews or anything as well but then again ddg don't do a lot of interviews i ain't gonna lie y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below do you agree do you think it's wrong for ruby rose to continue to bring up ddg's name or do you feel like it's no big deal y'all let me know let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be jada kingdom and Stefan Don. Now we know that Stefan Don and Jada Kingdom have been going track for track, this for this, okay? These two have been going against each other for some days. And let me tell you guys, it's getting crucial, okay? It's getting crucial out here between the two. Now I think this is the end of their beef, okay? They have dropped a couple of tracks on each other. But I couldn't help but to notice that Stefan Don really, really got offended by one of Jada Kingdom's diss tracks where Jada Kingdom insinuates and allege that Stefan Don had something going on with her uncle, that she slept with her uncle and that she sacrificed her dad. OK, so this is what Stefan Don decided to write to her Insta story. I said what I said on the Internet. People take everything literal. I am not going to be a part of made up stories that people will believe is real sleep with my uncle sacrificing my dad what kind of lies honestly do you feel good saying that knowing you're talking ish just come fight me and be done because you're sick for making up ish like that for some likes bro it's seriously not even funny you can shame me but i got a son that would hear these lies and i'm not with it okay so that's what stefan don had to say and i'm kind of like hold on stefan don wasn't you saying a lot of stuff about jada kingdom in your diss tracks it seems like she can dish it but she can't take it because Stefan Don is basically making these diss tracks that, oh, Jada Kingdom messed with her man. She's about to box her. That Jada Kingdom messed with all of these men. That she sells her box. She said a lot of things about Jada Kingdom, right? And now that Jada Kingdom is clapping back at her, and I honestly understand that she's saying, oh, well, you're saying lies. 
But how do you know that Jada Kingdom was sleeping with all of these men? Were you around while she was doing it? So as far as it goes, you could be spreading lies about Jada Kingdom as well. Like I said, it just seems like a situation where she feels like she can dish it, but she cannot take it. And for her saying that her son is going to see this, yes, your son may be able to see this or hear this type of stuff when he grows up. But then again, you have to think of the fact of your son is going to hear and see what you were saying about another woman, how you were coming for another woman as well. So like I said, this just completely didn't make sense to me. If you wasn't there while Jada Kingdom was sleeping with all of those men, honestly, she doesn't even know if that's the truth. So why does she feel like more so she's telling the truth on Jada Kingdom if Jada Kingdom didn't tell her that personally or she wasn't there personally to see Jada Kingdom sleeping with all of those men? Like I said, I'm never on anybody's side, but this just did not make sense, especially knowing that Stefflon Don kind of seemingly started the whole beef between her and jada kingdom in the first place come on stuff london we're not playing fair at this point but i want to know what you guys think about all of these topics my lovely tts once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night